Let's talk about this Kanye idiot for a minute, shall we? I think I missed him. This guy ran for president, or uh, I think he is still running for president. Is he not? I don't know what this guy's doing, but he's mentally gone. This dude is fucking gone. He's not a little bit gone. He's all the way gone. This guy is out of his mind, straight up out of his mind, off his meds. I know a little bit about mental illness. I'm bipolar. <coughs> I have alcoholism. I can speak a little bit about mental health. And I got news for you. The way that you deal with mental health or people with mental health issues that you make it very hard for them to continue to do what they're doing. (coughs) Everybody in Kanye's life needs to tell him to not call him until he decides he wants to get help. You're wrong, Shane. He'll kill himself. No, he won't. And if he does, it's it's not anybody's fault. They got one shot to get this guy better, and that's to close all the doors, freeze the bank accounts, let that guy get his fucking Kanye on up in uh, Ute, Montana, until he's out of money or he's starving, and then maybe someone get because the because it's all on Kanye. And Kanye's got more resources, and he's got more people flying to him to help. Got news for you. Dave Chappelle, he's slipping. Justin Bieber, Dave Chappelle, you're the same as Justin Bieber. You're flying somewhere to get, and then being put on Twitter? If any of these people cared about him, they'd slip in the back door, and they'd say, Kanye, you're fucking a wreck. And I'm not speaking to you, and I'm going to do everything I can to close off every avenue of your life until you decide that you have got to get help. Period. Flying up there and fucking Twitters and pictures and videos. Where is... uh, This is the other thing. Kanye might have wrote some songs. I get that he's been important to the to the conversation of music for the last 20 years. Not really the last couple records. They're bullshit. But the rest of them records are real. They're legit. There's something that's adding to the conversation. That guy is going down in the history books as somebody who was, re- is, was important to the f- genre of music. <coughs> but that dude ain't no different than the homeless guy with bipolar he ain't no different than anybody else that's suffering from this disease he's just a guy that's taking advantage of his attention and his abilities to get it he is a full-on self-obsessed self-propelled disaster and it's the last thing anybody with a mental illness needs is resources and people telling him go kanye go I can empathize with somebody with a mental illness, but I cannot empathize with someone who knows they have a mental illness, who knows they're hurting the people around them, and decide they don't want help. That I can't empathize with because I was him. Because I knew I was fucked up, and I knew I was an alcoholic, and I knew I was dying, and I was like, nope, don't want any help. And when I didn't, when I was there, I was destroying everybody around me period Kanye's mental illness might explain what he's doing and how he's behaving and what's going on but it doesn't excuse his behavior and then you get the dark you get the dark Kardashian element in there, right? They're all looking around going, how do we protect the brand? This guy's a maniac. And Kim, you can't divorce him because if you divorce him, he's going to go ape shit and tell everybody a bunch of shit we don't want to know. And uh, this is looking terrible because he's talking about fucking uh, <laughs> Harriet Tubman not being a civil rights leader uh, and they, they're worried about their own brand, so what do they do? They put out a statement that talks about them and about how they aren't responsible for Kanye. 
If Courtney Abbiati was mentally ill and people gave a shit, the last thing I would be doing is putting out a statement about how it's not my fault. I wouldn't be putting out any statements. <laughs> the brand. So much to lose. Too much on the line. So many ways we could get fucked by Kanye. There were some pictures I saw today, some pictures of her crying in the car. That was a setup, 100%. 1,000% a setup. There's, you can't, you can't, if I had to gamble right now, they had someone there to get those pictures of her crying because it just continues to cement the idea that Kim is a victim. That Kim is trying and there's nothing she can do and it's sad and it's crying. Those pi- And believe me, this happens all the fucking time. All the time. People get the, hey, I'll be here in an hour. Get me walking out of whatever. That happens all the time. There's no doubt in my mind. And the idea that I think it was up on TMZ just tells me it's not a conspiracy theory. This shit is real. This is how these people operate. And that woman is deeming that Chris Jenner. She knows exactly what she's doing. That whole thing is a mess. I was worried about him for a second. Running for president, I was like, is this guy crazy? Is he serious? Are you joking? And then he, he has one campaign event, and he hey, I'm the craziest motherfucker on earth, is basically what he said. And he's not going to matter. And he's trying to get himself on ballots. And at the end of the day, as long as he's not fucking with the union, <laughs> with the potential of us losing our democracy, I don't much care what happens to Kanye. I think it's a drag. I think it's sad. And I think the whole thing is a vortex of self with everybody involved and everybody looking out for their own shit and their own needs and their own wants. And that guy potentially at any moment could be dead. And this is not being handled well by anybody that loves him.